Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. In this one we're having a quick review of the new game published by Gaijin Entertainment and developed by Three Wheel Studio Age of Water. Now the best way to describe this game is Sea of Thieves meet Somali pirates in the modern day in a post-apocalyptic post world. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into talking about some of the pros of this game. So overall so far from my current gameplay of it, it is pretty stable for a close beta which is quite shocking actually for a beta test it is relatively stable graphically as well it does look very nice i do like the more cartoony feel to it i like the look of the water especially at nighttime with reflections or the graphic style of it is very nice i do like the fact it's taking a step back to what I used to love as a kid, like Borderlands style graphics, Sea of Thieves, that style. Away from all this realistic bullshittery that we get now, especially with some of that games like Backdoor or Don't Back Down or something like that's called, where it looks stupidly realistic, like it's proper body cam footage of you going around as a police officer. The feel of the game is pretty good. Overall, it feels responsive with controls, however, there is some issues I've noticed in regards to the faster current routes. I do feel like they do need drastically refined, as if you enter them the wrong way, it just completely spins your ship out of control and very easily flips it at times I've noticed, or can fly you into space quite legitly, which is quite crazy. The overall aesthetic of the game, it does have a quite unique setting, which I do like the fact that it is mixing post-apocalypse with naval, well, piracy, or becoming a sea ranger or whatever the fuck you want to call it. It is pretty cool that way. The aesthetic overall does feel nice. I do wish it would add more features, especially for exploring sunken cities, sunken wrecks. I do like how they're using famous landmarks like the Biz. Sorry, I'm not sure if it's Bismarck or Turpes for certain gangs, hideouts, typhoon class, submarines, and them together to build a city across them. I do like that aesthetic. They're bringing back a lot of history into it, so it does feel like this is in the foreseeable future because of how things are going. Don't think it's a jab about climate change and all that shit. To me, it's just a post-apocalyptic game after some shits happened. But it would be nice if you would be able to explore the sunken cities, for example, diving bells, or even being able to like go in the first person and directly control your guy like Sea of Thieves. That would be very nice to see. A lot more developed version of this game would be nice to see that way. I do like the idea of exploring sunken ruins and sunken wrecks of the cities, or a sunken ship or vessel are being able to dredge that type of stuff up. There is a dredging game, but it would be pretty cool to actually be able to dredge proper parts up, like cannons or something like that. But yeah, that would be long time down the line in regards to development. So what I feel is okay in the game so far, the big one is the fast travel. As I said earlier, the fast travel, in my opinion, is a complete mess. I don't mean using that hella thingy, however the fuck you want to call it. The fast travel. I mean the fast travel using the currents, using the whirlpools. It seems to do... It seems to cause a lot of issues crossing the map, I've noticed. Like, if you hit the current the wrong way, as I said before, it spins you out of control, you're in a fight, and you get close to one of them section, completely balls up your shots, you get sunk. It's not necessarily a fun thing to be able to have to deal with, it would be nice if Gaijin or Three Wheel Studios developed it in a way that while these currents are there, to use them you need to activate something like uh, automatic travel, like an automated travel system, like in most other games they'll have, where it does like a cinematic while you're traveling. That would be pretty nice to see. Never know, might work. We'll have to wait and see on that one. I do like as well that the map is huge, however it does seem very sparsely populated with unique things. It would be nice to see more wrecks, more destroyed cities, oil rigs, more vessels, more unique things populate in the map to make it more intriguing rather than just an open expense for 5,000 meters. It would be nice to see something like that. There are 
random, more randomized events, like seeing a huge whale jumping out of the water or something like that. Taking a lot, this should take a lot of inspiration from Assassin's Creed Black Flag in aspect. It was one hell of a game in regards to in in regards to naval expenses. It would be nice as well for audio tracks to be able to play in the ships, like shanties, music, pretty cool things like that. That would be a very nice feature to have, as well as more freedom of design and expression on the ships would be nice. But at the end of the day, this is a close beta, so. What can I say about that? So we'll get on some of the cons. The biggest con here is that our AI have a very bad habit of mass spawning. Like you'll have one trigger and then it'll trigger 20 more and it's happened multiple times and it's got me killed. On godly amounts of times where you go to fight a boss and then another four ways of AI get triggered by another player. And it's like, what the fuck? And sometimes you do feel like, this actually leads on to the next point, you do feel like some of the players in this game are bot accounts. Unfortunately, that is one thing that's coming over from War Thunder. I have noticed there is a lot of weirdly named bot accounts. But, that's, it's not a big deal. You can get that fixed easy enough. And it is in close beta, so yeah, we hopefully we'll see changes to that there. There is some minor bugs I've noticed, such as hitting the currents the wrong way and getting thrown into space, or... That's the big one, actually. Getting thrown out of the map. That is fucking hilarious to watch, but it's not pleasant, either. Then, onto the last couple. There's no voice acting at the minute. I would love to see fair. I love to see a lot of voice acting for this here. I think if they nail the voices correctly, this could be one hell of a nautical theme. If they nail the voices, get a radio in and allow you to like select different musics or make custom music. I think that would really set the nautical theme me that would be really good to see at the minute the economy is very poor as well and the grindiness of it like having to travel four thousand meters one way then or eight thousand back to the other side of the map or maybe even more they get one piece of material the research on to me that's a bit of a piss take you shouldn't really have to do that much just to research a bit of tech especially at tier one maybe tier four tier five yeah but not tier one to me, that is just really, really taking the hand a wee bit. So I do hope that if anyone does watch, well, I hope if the devs do watch this video, they do take what I say on, because it would be nice to see this game succeed, especially if it is going to blend Sea of Thieves and a more modern look onto it. It would be a really fun game that way, especially if you're using smaller boats like dinghies and all, ramming into the side of the ship, jumping off the dinghy and taking it. That would be pretty damn cool to see. But we will have to wait and see. We'll have to see in wait how the devs do this. Though I would love to actually personally talk to them and discuss ideas, given my back well, given my new background, with me being a me being an officer cadet at the minute within the navy. So that would be nice to be able to actually speak to them about and maybe share some ideas and hopefully maybe try some new things with them. Anyways, with that there, everyone, to get into the closed beta. There is a few ways, so you can either buy your way in, which is $12.99, or you can request free access, however, you're, I don't know what the chances are to get free access if you request it, so yeah, you yeah, pretty much have to buy your way into the beta unless you're RN Jesus with luck. Anyways, with that there, if you haven't, please do join us over on Discord as we're trying to build an active Discord community and I'm trying to get more and more things up and running. So please do come over and join us in Discord. And if you haven't as well, please do like and subscribe and catch us over on Twitch as well for shenanigans whenever I can stream. As I do enjoy getting drunk on stream and creating a lot of havoc. It's always good fun. It always is good fun. Anyways, with everyone, good night, good luck, and I shall hopefully see you in game.